We're broadcasting from New Ferris Stadium in Sniffalo, home of the thrills, and the world-famous waterfall, Viagra Falls. I've never seen a waterfall that goes straight up before. It's weird. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Cleveland Burns take on the Sniffalo Thrills. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Welcome to another game day here on the MFL Network. Grim Blitzrow along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan. How you doing? Great city, isn't it, Bricks? Fantastic city. My motel even has free color TV oh, that's and nice. an ice machine that works. Wow. That was police tape blocking the bathroom because of the photographers in there, but other than that, no complaints. They, they give you free jelly at breakfast, too. Sounds like a real winner. And it's first and ten. He picks up eight yards on that pass. Second down and two. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> First and ten. Oh, and he just turns ginormous. Look out. Oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banji. The new game from Wilton Crabtree. <laughs> First and ten. Second down in a lot. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. sister can throw further than that but she doesn't have to play against goddamn monsters the drive was stalled and here comes the field goal attempt straight through the uprights when you give up points you need to get them back here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And 
it's first and ten. gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's bad exactly and that'll bring up second and one first down he hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy low hands nose it's a mare in lost wages nevada and it's first and ten Intercepts the ball. Thank you. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down and nine. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Third down and nine. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. First and ten. He's not just burning down the house, he's taking it to the house. Oh man, his neck front of range just got crushed. Sounded like a oh with the bone crushing hit. You can 86 this guy, Bricks. Uh, I never learned how to count that high. First and ten. And that pass is good for about five yards. Second down and five. Third down and six. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. And 
It's first and ten. That's a six-yard gain. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And that'll be second down and four. Murphy Brown! What? I'm with the vicious kill! Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. First down and one. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkey skin grafted on his backside from that bad burn he had last year. Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Oh, those are just my balls. Hey, stay for sharing, Bricks. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. done for a first down. Hey, yeah, uh, Bricks, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Second down and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Third down and the offense needs a miracle. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path and the body toll continues to climb. comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The offense will get it on the 20. And it's first and 10. to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads and kimchi. I mean, if anything really tastes good.
third down and the QB is saying is another interception he did it he scores and with that amazing run he first through the end zone for six <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing lukewarm threads their marketing team hates it and it's first and ten call man about a six yard oh and the late hit arrives right on time when it's your time to go it's your time and that'll be second down and four one time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. The lineman swants the ball away with those meaty paws. God, I look so snuggly. Yeah, I guess if you're a monster. Second down and ten. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Just as good as a sack. No, it ain't. When you get a sack, you get to hit the QB in the nuts. Yeah, good point, Junior. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. That, my friends, was an all-pro MFL hit. And that'll be second and eight to go. And that's another turn. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? And it's first and ten. The defense called a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball for him, but it keeps coming back to him. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. And the two-minute warning sounds. Time to get a beer. Hey, get me one, too. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Looks like the defense called the ginormous dirty trick. That's a hole that was equal parts great run and bad defense. They quickly call a timeout, hoping to save some time for their offense. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. 
The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Second down and six. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. Third down and six. He refused. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. The defense just wanted it more and got it. Is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. In a hurry up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. And the hurry up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. few catches and watch his confidence take off he is and that's the end of the second quarter someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers stay with us for the halftime show brought to you by our friends at monsatan industries we make genetically altered franken food you'll have fun trying to identify the teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half these guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game well, either that or kill and cheat more. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And downhill. Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And that'll bring up second and one. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. And it's first and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to block me, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers.
Second down and six. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich with that. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. QB says, I don't know almost throw interceptions, but when I did, and the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Did you just say greatest hits? Wham! First and ten. At this point, with one foot, ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. You now these guys need to talk to the ref about those calls, and by talk, I mean stomp him into the ground. First down in inches. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. And the defense just called the ginormous dirty trick. His big ass nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. Third down and, well, good luck. And he catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. Oh, boy, they're going for it. This could get uglier than the baby resulting from an orcish family reunion. in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Ah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's pleading with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. First and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? This guy's a brick shit house. Oh, with the brutal hit. First and ten. Great run for a nine-yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. Touchdown! 
Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. Mm, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And the defense gets another pick. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. I don't know do which way. <laughs> and it's first and ten. see a lot of carnage today folks these teams have bad blood between them apparently they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck raccoon rabies blood is my thought always a player's favorite and it's first and ten up two yards on the catch and that'll be second and eight to go oh and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down first and four NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Wham! The offense must forfeit the game because all their quarterbacks are dead. There's no one left to throw the ball, so this game is over. Well, that's one way to win a game. Kill all the players on the opposing team. When it's not kicking in the head, it's kicking in the balls. And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grim. Yeah, bigger than yours. That's a beautiful pass for the conversion. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah. That hey, Bricks, you were hit more than a few times like that in your career. 140 times the... Simple thrills lose at home. The fans are angry. It's cold out, and they lose by forfeit. Whenever there are more quarterbacks than players, that's a bad sign. Yeah, but the meat price will be cheaper at the market tomorrow. That's good. They battled hard.
hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. <laughs> with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Heart Corporation. They get it right every other...